Hey everybody, it's your Crafter Chris Share back for another video. <sighs> it is so freaking hot in my room, it's ridiculous. Um, today is the 27th of May. It is 11.33 p.m. Um, I was going to do this video one Friday night, I think. But my pap the one I live with, had fallen down and hurt his knee really bad. So we had to take him to emergency orthopedic doctor and they drained four and a half tubes of blood and liquid from around his knee and he has to go back t tomorrow at 1.15. My grandma has to work so my aunt and uncle that are up from Florida is going to take us to doctors since he cannot drive. So, um, today I have um, whips, finished objects, and some new stuff. No new yarn, <laughs> just I have two um, new ones kind of yarn related. Neither of them are really yarn related, but I got one mainly for my projects and I got one to learn how to sew. Um, so, um, so yeah, let's just show you the new stuff first because I only got two of them. So, I saw one Mandy, which is Pants Crochet, cr Pants Crochet Creations. Her um, kids, I think her two sons, her two middle sons, I think, possibly, Mandy, correct me if I'm wrong, but they had showed, um, well, she had showed that they got her a craft cart, and they had gotten it at um, Michael's. Well, when I went to Michael's to get one, I realized that they were, one was $59.99, one sale price. And one was $39.99, which was a little bit over my price range. So I went to Walmart and they actually had them. This is mine. And so this cart is going to replace my five bags of whips and product finished objects that I always seem to have. And as you can see, I have stuff piled in it. My kid is not real fond of it yet, but he doesn't like things moving in my room. So, um, he's a little leery. When I start cleaning, he doesn't want anything to do with me. He wants to be as far away from me as possible. And then we went to me and my gram, my pap, and my aunt and uncle from Florida. We went to a um, farmer's market, and one lady had this little sewing machine. And I got it because I wanted to learn how to sew. And the big ones um, terrify me. So, um, so yeah. It operates on um, my the adapter or for double A batteries, which I have a lot of double A batteries. So it is this. It comes with. Um, four extra bobbins, um, so yeah, so it comes with four bobbins, and if you remember, I had gotten one a while ago at a flea market, and, um, it did not come in, it did not come with instructions, and the little, um, drawer here that holds the bottom bobbin was not there, so I figured since this one had the bobbin and stuff, I would I would get it. It was only $10, but it's a little sewing machine. Um, once I get some fat quarters, when I have some money to get some fat quarters, I will definitely try it. And the only thing I'm looking I want to make some box bottom bags, I think. <coughs> I apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, so I got this. It right now is living on the box. Whoops, I just dropped it. 
it is living on the bottom sorry talking you can't hear me the bottom shelf of my craft cart <coughs> ah man okay so um my finished objects are we're going into finished objects I have this was supposed to be a shawl but it was not getting bigger as I it's not it wasn't getting bigger as fast as I thought it should get bigger so this is this was supposed to be my the flat bottom V stitch shawl but I turned it into a pet mat as you can see it is flat on this side and on this side I figured um, they could lay it against the wall of a of one of the pet rooms and this is in the Bella Pink Varg and um, I don't know if you can really see the colors there is yellow and there's white and there's like a pastel pink I use a six and a half millimeters for this and I use one whole cake I still have three more cakes which I'm planning on doing another shawl I just don't know what yet the next finished object I have is my hat. This is Lumnit. It is the um, the body is um, eight rep, figure eight stitched, and then the brim is what is the brim? I think I did two by three, maybe. I'm not sure yeah maybe two by three it was done on a 62 peg loom I think so this is for myself I used um, mandala sparkle and Aquarius and as you can see I only got through two colors which was pretty devastating I still have pretty much the whole entire ball and this white is just red heart super saver white um, that is a whip. I don't know what it's doing up there. My second whip. Is that my second? Third. Fin third finished object. Not whipped. Not whipped. Ah! I'm all over the place today. Is my Cakes and Candles baby blanket. I use two um, cakes of cupcake yarn in the color clown car. And this is all I had left. I have not weighed it. And I used a five and a half millimeter hook for this. So it is a pretty good sized baby blanket. I can finally take my stitch marker out. So yes, there is my Cakes and Candles baby blanket, finally done. And I have my last finished object, which, <laughs> so, my two balls are on, okay. So, in my last, and I just showed you. In my last video, I showed you one cake of Mermaid Cove and one cake of Magic Moon. And I got some pretty good reviews, or I got pretty good compliments of, or comments about putting them together. There was only a couple of them that were like, now I want to put them together, including my mom. But now that I finished this virus show, my mom actually loves it. So, here it is. I have all my ends woven in. So as you know, if you've made the virus blank, virus blank, if you made the virus shawl before, it is a four row repeat. So after every four rows, I switch colors. So here it is. Finally done. It is very, very long. I decided that this one is already claimed. This is going to my aunt. The one that lives in Florida. They, like I said, they are up for vacation and I haven't given her a shawl yet. So this one is going to her. 
I used a six and a half millimeter hook for this. And um, so yeah, she will be getting this show. And I'm super pleased with it. My mom actually likes it now. It's done. So I will be able to give that to her tomorrow. So I had this much of Mermaid Cove. And I had this much of Magic Moon. There is um, a gray in the inside of this. So, yeah. Now let's get one move on to whips. I am going to... Chocolate milk, of course. I only have... I've been wanting to loom knit. Oh, wait a minute. I do have one more finished object. It is a loom knit hat. And it is this. Which... Is very, very tight, I will admit. It does not do give a lot of stretch. I use the U-Wrap. But it is this one. And I used... Bright Mix, Red Heart Super Saver, and Black Mainstays. And like I said, I am not going to try it on because it is super tight. And I have my hair pulled up in a ponytail and I am not taking it down. So I finished this hat. Um, this was on a... Thirty-one peg loom? No, thirty. 41 peg loom. I mean, I have it right here. I can just look. This was made on a 41 peg loom. I did a 2 by 3. No. What well, was supposed to be a 2 by 2, 3 rib, but since it was um, odd number, I have I ended with 3 curls instead of 3 knits. But that's what it looks like. So it's bright mix and um, just mainstays black. So I got that finished. And that is my last finished object. I've been, like I said, I've been in a loom knitting kit kind of so every once in a while. Like yesterday, that's all I wanted to do. So along with my pat falling, I did not sleep on Thursday night because I had a doctor's appointment. At early doctor's appointment. And then I did not sleep Saturday or Friday night because I had to stay up with my pap to make sure that he was okay. So I pretty much Saturday after my grandma came home from work, I crashed. All day, yes, or all day Saturday, I slept on the ch my grandma's chair for a little bit early in the morning. Then I had to go to the bathroom, so I went to the bathroom and when I came back in, Nala was on my grandma's chair where I was sleeping. So then I went over to the couch and lay down and fell back asleep and she came over to the couch and laid with me. So I, and then, so I slept for several hours then, and then I came up here after we ate supper. I said, told my grandma, I said, I'm going upstairs taking my pills. And it was like 4.30 in the afternoon. I went, took my pills and went to bed and I slept, I slept soundly until my groom woke me up at like 10 something yesterday morning to go get flowers. So this is another one of my one of my loom knit projects. This is the only one right now. Well, not really. I have um, I have another two started over there, but they're just barely started as long as this one. Um, this one is using two strands. Again, I am using mainstays black, and I am using um, never enough. Uh, never enough and like the rose coral and something forget what it says by that that is my only loom knit project right now other than the two other ones that I got but I just barely did I just did the cast one so it's it's not even worth showing then I have this one this baby blanket which is going to eventually be the Whitby baby blanket. And this is the one that I'm probably going to work on next. 
but I just have, I just, I don't, I'm not even sure how far I have to go yet before I can get into the meshy section. So I am just going to keep that out. I think that's what I'm going to work on. Then I started, I am using a five for, for that whippy blanket. Um, then I have the start of a virus shawl, another one. And this one is, I have four skeins of this. And it is in the Highland Ridge Varg, which is this. It has like an orange, a blue, a gray, and a black. See? So that's that one. And then um, a while ago, I did a blanket where I was just using up some random balls of yarn. So I decided to do that again and started another little blanket that I just have. Barely, I almost have two rows completed, but see, I have a little bit there yet. But I'm using a 6 mil 6.5 millimeter for this little blanket, a 6.5 for the virus blanket, for the virus, um, virus shawl, and then I have two more whips, and then that is it. So, as you know, I had gotten these, um, some Karen big cakes. When I was at Michael's the other day that were on sale for $4.97. So I decided that I was going to make it into some virus shells. Because I haven't made one for a while so I was I was wanting to make another one. So this is in the colorway blueberry scone I think. So it just has browns, um, a cream, and like two different shades of blue in it. So making that. I'm using a 6.5 millimeter for that one. And I know I showed in my last video that I was making um, my design, my Granny V stitch shawl, but I did not like the fabric that it had with this yarn. So I ripped it all out and started the Cakes and Candles shawl. So I am that far and this is impeccable um, Neapolitan which is the colorway and I like it a lot better. I have five cakes or five skeins of this. My very good friend Ujet sent me those. So I will be making a virus or cakes and candles shawl with those and a virus shawl with my big cakes that I got. So, that is everything, which it is a short video this week. Um, not very much else is going on. Like I said, we have my PAPS doctor's appointment tomorrow. Um, when they did x-rays and stuff, they thought he had a fracture. A small fracture which we hope it's nothing like that we hope it's just stoved or twisted or something like that and he won't have to have surgery but we will find all of that out tomorrow um, so yeah so I think that is it for tonight I'm glad you guys um, stuck with me uh, I do want to say a huge thank you to my 600 and I think the last time I checked I had 77 subscribers so thank you guys so much um hello to all the new subscribers um my birthday is finally coming up I still have 17 days until I am officially 28 so if you want to send me a birthday card um I will put my address in the description box, or, yeah, the description box below. <coughs> um, yeah, I will put my, my, um, personal address in the description box below. Um, 
I will also put my email if you have any questions about where to get in contact with me. It will be also in the description box below. You can follow me on my Facebook group where you can post where you can post your finished objects. Um, you can ask questions, anything. It's a craft day crochet podcast over on Facebook. I will link it in the description below. Um, I think I think I said my email, which is a crafty crochet nineteen ninety one at gmail dot com. That is the best way to get in contact with me if you have any questions about anything that I have showed you this week or in past weeks. Um, and you can follow me on Instagram as a crafty crochet. And it is not underscored. It is just a crafty crochet, I think. So, with all of that said, I will try to link those um, projects in. Um, I will link all of the projects in the, in the description box. Also, the ones that I can find. Now, the loom knit hats, I do not have. A, with the loom knit hats, I do not have a actual video that I found them on. But there is, um, if you want to get into loom knitting, there is a wonderful lady named Denise who has a lot of loom knit tutorials. She does um, a whole bunch of different stitches, a whole bunch of different kind of hats, scarves, um, things like that. So you can definitely find her over there. It is a Luma hat. Um, it's just a Luma hat. L O O M A H A T. You can find her there, and she has a whole bunch of different hats and stuff. Like I said, um, the cakes and candle shawl is by Krista from the Secret Yarnery. I will link her. The um, virus shawl that I make that I make. I followed um, Fiber Spiders tutorial. Which I will link it in the description box. And my flat bot bottom V stitch shell, I will link in the description box also. I will also try to link the Whitby baby blanket in the description box below. So, um, I hope everybody has a great Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day, which is almost over. Should have started with that. Um, but I hope everybody has a great week. Tomorrow is Tuesday, so have a great week, and I will talk to you guys later.